What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with another episode of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic is, of course, car customization. Yes, at last, we know that car customization is in Grand Theft Auto 5 because Rockstar has confirmed it to us. Now, as we all know, car customization was in, was in San Andreas. Um, there was a shop called Transfender Body Swap Shop, and there you could get, you know, different colors. You could get nitrous oxide put in your car. You could change your wheels, your stereo, and even put hydraulics in it, and there were different things you could do. But then, for some reason, Rockstar thought, oh, hey, it would be a good idea if we took this out for Grand Theft Auto 4. Let's take out something really fun that was in San Andreas and just get rid of it completely just because we can. So then eventually, you know, they came around to their senses and they said, oh, hey, you know what? Maybe we should bring that back for Grand Theft Auto 5 because people really liked that. So that is exactly what they did. So now we have confirmation that customization is in fact in Grand Theft Auto 5. So before we get into this, let me just say you are watching a Grand Theft Auto 4 gameplay that I've had saved on my computer for months that I have been saving for a GTA 5 car customization video because this is a modder that I ran to online, but he was really cool. He gave me a modded car and he wasn't a dick about it. It was cool. So anyways, here's where we're at right now. Rockstar has told us that you can change your paint job, put on new wheels, change your window tint, put on different grills, spoilers, you can even upgrade your suspensions, brakes, and of course your engine. Now that all sounds very cool, especially the engine and the brakes and the suspension, I love all that, but I also like the little details like the wheels and the window tint, so let's kind of break all these down. For paint jobs, there are a lot of different things they could do here. Usually we're used to just seeing different colors, but now I'm wondering if we'll be able to get different patterns. Maybe make our own custom graphics, maybe make them online and upload them to our profiles or something and be able to download them. Who knows, maybe we can put our own graphics on. Or, I don't know, it could just be something simple like putting pinstripes on your car, flames, things like that. As for wheels, many, many possibilities here. As we all know, wheels and rims are limitless. There are so many different kinds, so many different sizes. So I'm not really going to go in depth here because you guys kind of know what to expect with wheels. However, one thing that just came to mind is will we be able to take regular cars and put giant rock crawling tires, like off-roading tires on them, or vice versa, take a giant truck or dune buggy and put street racing slicks on them. As for window tints, that's going to be a little bit interesting. It's going to be interesting to see if we can do only grayscale tints, you know, like your dark black and stuff like that. Or will we be able to do rainbow tints? Maybe if you have a lime green in furnace, you can put a lime green tint on it. That might look kind of silly, but hey, that's why customization is in here. It's because it's what we want to do to our own car. If we want to make it a pink Teletubby themed car, then why the hell not? So, what kind of window tints will we be able to put on? I'm kind of hoping that we'll see the entire rainbow, even though it's a little bit unrealistic because cars don't really have tints like that, but it would just be some, I don't know, added stuff that would be kind of cool in my opinion. As for grills, um, doesn't seem that cool to me. You could change your grill out on your car, I don't know. Um, I guess you could do it just to make it look cooler, but not too much besides that. The spoiler, on the other hand, is something that you will always be looking at because as you're driving, you will see it sitting on the back of your car. So, I like that we can put spoilers on cars, um, I hope that we can do stupid stuff, maybe like put a spoiler on a pony, which for those of you who don't know is just the standard van in Grand Theft Auto. Just trick out a pony, or like trick out just piece of shit cars, just like white trash people do here in the United States, as you guys all know. Um, also, you can upgrade your suspension. Now, this is where I got really excited. Imagine taking a standard car and putting some really high, kind of looser suspension on and just taking out to the desert and just start tearing through the desert. I mean, you can basically turn these things maybe hopefully into like dune buggy style cars just because basically we're going to be able to mod the crap out of these and take a car and hopefully suit it for any scenario. So as I also said, you can change the brakes. That'll probably also be interesting. Um, I imagine that faster, more powerful cars are going to have different performance brakes, different options. Well, Maybe, I don't know why somebody would want to make a slower car, but let's say you did, then you would put different brakes on that. So different brakes to suit different scenarios. And of course, engines. Engine tuning. Very cool to see in here. I am very excited to see how they're going to make all that work. Hopefully we can add torque, horsepower, all that good stuff, and then just combine all of these things that I've said so far into our perfectly customized, tuned car. 
So guys, those are my thoughts on this topic. At this point in time, please tell me what you think in the comments below. What kind of car are you looking forward to customizing? Um, personally, I'm looking forward to, I don't know, I think taking like a muscle car and obviously doing everything I said, giving it a different paint job and then giving it some high suspension and taking it out in the desert and just go like rock crawling, mountain climbing with a car that you would never even consider to do that with. And also, of course, street racing. I just, my mind is running wild right now with all the possibilities. So please, guys, tell me what you think. As I said in the comments below, what do you think Rockstar is going to give us? Is there going to be even more customization that they haven't told us thus far? What do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. See you later.